Hello and welcome to Running the Table, the podcast where we run through everything on the table in the world of sports. And we're going to take a break from your usual postseason content to talk a little different. about a very special topic, the Green Bay Packers. It's the gift that keeps on giving, always giving us stuff to talk about, and especially the quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, Jordan Love, and what we think the Packers should do going forward. So, Tim, are you ready to go? Let's run it. So after a not so great season where the Packers ended up missing the playoffs at eight and nine, Aaron Rodgers is doing his usual. Should I come back? Should I not come back? I'm, should I retire? I want my guys back type deal. And personally, as a Packers fan, I'm getting sick of it. And That's this is pretty understandable. And this reminds me of a certain situation that we were in after the 2007 season with a quarterback and a certain Aaron Rodgers when he was on the other side of it. It's it's pretty much the flip side. But what we're going to talk about today is why the Packers should trade Aaron Rodgers and move on to Jordan Love. It's time to move on to the future. Rodgers is not the same quarterback as he once was. And with Jordan Love sitting on the bench for three years, potentially a fourth, if the Packers decide to bring Aaron Rodgers back, it's time to let the kid do his thing because I'm a Jordan Love believer. I already bought a jersey. I'm kind of already invested. But I believe that. he's got potential. And he once again, he's he's had the time to go and learn under Aaron Rodgers and get comfortable with, with the scheme, with the team, everybody around him. And we saw a little bit of him uh, this year, which he actually did look pretty darn good. Um, but all of this is banking on whether or not. Um, well, it's whether or not we also may see Rodgers retire, because that is also, you know, a potential outcome of this. But if he is not and the choice is up to the Packers organization, yes, I believe that it is time now for the Packers to move on from Aaron Rodgers and give Jordan Love a shot. Because the other problem that they've got right now is how much money that they're giving him for him to, to stick around. Um, he had signed that three year, one hundred fifty million dollar extension. Um, money, so it's like money, 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 money. They've, they've got a lot of money headed towards his way. And for what the rest of their team looks like right now, they could very much use dishing off that contract somewhere else um, and looking to to build other parts of their roster because I think there are definitely other parts that, that definitely need it. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is projected to make $59 million this year. And it's a, oh lot, of, God. It's a lot of money. Um, cutting him is absolutely out of the question because oh, oh, if, if the Packers cut Aaron Rodgers tomorrow, they would be eating $100 million in dead money. That's not an exaggeration. That is a real figure. Oh my so gosh. the suggestion for for me that I will put forth is that they trade him where they only eat forty million dollars in dead. Be cap. a lot better. Yeah, when you've kicked the can down the road as many times as the Packers have, they've been doing this for the past few years now. They've been kind of spinning their wheels in the mud to try to preserve the championship window by restructuring and extending, like using future money on the past and the present. Yeah. But the Super Bowl window is absolutely closed. And when it's time to make a change, you've got to start time, to look to the new era. It's time to make a serious change. You have a yeah. quarterback that you drafted a few years ago to do just that, take the reins in a new era. And if you're going to be bad for a few years and you're going to clear that cap, what better way to start than by trading Aaron Rodgers. Time yeah. is a flat circle, Tim. It's a flat circle. If I've said yeah. it once, I've said it a thousand times. Yeah. Like, have the Packers learned nothing from 2007? Like, remember 2007 when Tom Brady had that magnificent year where he threw for 50 touchdowns? He was almost unanimously the MVP. The one guy that stepped in the way and got a vote, Brett Favre. And the Packers traded him to the Jets anyway. And with yeah. Rodgers declining the way he has, like history repeats itself. Jordan Love is going to be really good. Trade Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously so many questions still surrounding Love himself, but I think it's come to the point where you have to give that a try. You have to look in a different direction. Um, and you look at, uh, around the rest of the roster, you've got a lot of different guys in different positions where the more you hang on to this this previous era or trying to make make do with what you have and and you know add some pieces around, the more you're going to 
waste some of the primes of these other guys. I mean, you look at the promise of Christian Watson coming through this year. Um, that has helped them a lot. But you got guys on, on both sides of the ball with Jair Alexander, obviously your backfield of A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones, even Robert Tunyon at tight end. Like You've got pieces that when when you add the right things around it, can can help but when you're giving that much money to one guy who you know ends up leading you to an eight and nine season we can't put that all on Rodgers but he certainly did not look like the superstar MVP candidate that he has in the past and now, with the, Tim, the state of the rest of the team yeah with with the cap it's not just Rodgers because oh for sure Aaron Jones is taking up a huge chunk David Bakhtiari is yeah. making a lot of money Elgin Jenkins is going to inevitably make a lot of money Jair Alexander got paid big and for good reason see but for a lot of those guys i don't feel like you have a waiting replacement that is a cheaper option that can do a good amount of or even a decent amount of what those guys do and especially talk about like bakhtiari jay alexander you're talking about pretty irreplaceable guys on that roster rogers is at that point where he is way more replaceable than all of those guys especially with love waiting in the wings yeah i mean you can either keep spinning in circles and trying to do the same thing over and over again or you can actually tear it down a little bit gotta do something about it reload and do something about it we might not be good next year we might not be good the year after that but give it three years with a good rebuild like i said like i said 2007 we trade Favre. 2008 the packers missed the playoffs 2009 they make the wild card 2010 they won the super bowl with aaron Rodgers. so if it's up to us Aaron Rodgers is going to be in a trade to Tennessee tomorrow. (laughs) Start investing that real estate. Oh, yeah. I mean, we could get into potential trade destinations in a future topic if that's something you guys want to see. There's a lot of speculation behind that. There's a lot of uh, speculation. But, Tim, do we have anything else? Honestly, no, not really. I mean, for the Packers, it's it's time to turn over a new leaf. Um, it's time to stop dressing the, the the problem that you have a little bit differently and disguising it as something new. Um, it's time to just wipe the slate clean and, and, and try something different. So that's what we're looking for, for them to do. The Aaron Rodgers era is over. Let's usher in the Jordan Love era. Let's kick it off in 2023 and 15 more years of good quarterback play. Yeah, let's with see. One you can slow your roll a bit on that. That's still uh, still up for debate and up to see, but. But if you want to see our other stuff, we've been covering the playoffs all postseason long. We'll be doing predictions and recaps and so much more as time goes along. So if you like what we do, go check out our other stuff. And until next time, like and subscribe. And we out. Why do we have to keep doing this? It's like every year, dude. It's too much. Yeah, it's too much. I'm over it.